Welcome back to the Tool Crib. Today we are going to be looking at some EDC pry tool options and the ones that we're going to be looking at here are made by Rogan USA out of Kissimmee, Florida. Now I had a chance to speak with the owner, Mike Rogan. Uh, he was kind enough to take some time out of his day to answer some of my questions about the products that he offers. You know, I've kind of veered away from EDC pry tools because a lot of them either they're just not built robust enough or they're just trying to do entirely too much. And so I've, I've, I've kind of veered away from them. I mean, they're trying to put screwdrivers on them and nail pulls and little bitty pry tools that I just can't see being a relevant option because they just don't have enough leverage. This, this style of pry tool is doing something a little different and it appealed to me because the one tool that I, I'm really looking for is a, a good scraper that I could carry with me. So these kind of double as that. So they're both pry tools and scrapers and depending on which model you get, they can be a little bit more than that as well. Well, Mike Rogan took some time out of his, out of his day, like I said, to, to visit with me and I got some information on the, on the steel for you guys. So all of these are going to be made out of a proprietary A2 stainless steel variant that they use. It has a 2600 degree melting point, 73,000 PSI uh, tensile strength, and the Rockwell rating on these is a 70. So they're pretty hard steel. Now, there's four different models that we're going to be looking at, but there's actually a fifth that's in their EDC line. Now, they have a couple of other options beyond that that you can get. Now I ended up purchasing this one. This is the one that I was interested in. This is the RPT Foreman. And after talking to Mike and letting him know that, you know that I wanted to feature these on the channel, he was kind enough to send along these three as well. So we're going to talk about uh, each one of these. Now all three of these are going to be made out of that same A2 stainless steel variant and each one of these particular models is going to be 3 16 of an inch thick. So they are incredibly robust they really are uh, the first one here is this you notice in, in some of these models they're going to be have his name uh, the, the the company name laser etched into them uh, this one even might but this one comes with the lanyard uh, wrap so I haven't taken it off to know if it's laser etched in that particular one or not the first one that we're going to be looking at is a TSA compliant and it's called the micro. Now it is three quarters of an inch in width. It's two and a quarter inches long and three sixteenths of an inch thick. It also integrates the quarter inch uh, hex drive down here. So if you want to turn it into a little screwdriver, you do have an option to do so. What appealed to me about these though, is that they, again, I was looking for more of a scraping tool. And these are very, very nicely done. The edges on here, while they're not completely rounded over, they're not sharp where they're going to cut you. Uh, they just do a nice job on the finish. So this is the Micro, which is a very nice little EDC option. The two that I really like, though, were these two. So the first one we're going to be, uh, of the two we'll look at, is called the Pro. Now this is the same 3 quarters of an inch thick, uh, wide, same 3 sixteenths of an inch thickness, and overall length on this one is three and three quarters of an inch. Now this one is also TSA compliant. Uh, it's going to integrate the same quarter inch uh, drive up the back that will also double as your lanyard, uh, lanyard hole if you wanted to attach this with the lanyard. And uh, it's just, they're just nice. They really are. Really well done. Great scraping tool. Great pry bar. Uh, just what I was looking for. They're not trying to do too much. The next model is a little bit built a little bit different. Now it's going to have the same overall length, the same three and three quarters as that Pro. It's a little narrower up here, but overall the 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 overall width is going to be three quarters of an inch, uh, three sixteenths of an inch thick as well. Also integrates the same uh, quarter inch drive, so you can use those as a Pretty nice screwdriver actually in a pinch if you do carry a, a bit or two with you. This one obviously integrates the uh, the bottle cap lifter and which I would imagine is going to make this one one of the more popular EDC options for a lot of people because it's it still has the same great scraping and pry functionality. 
the quarter inch driver as well as it doubles as a bottle cap lifter. But the one that I was interested in, and the reason that I was interested in this one, this one is called the RPT Foreman. Now the other model that I mentioned is just called the RPT. It's going to be exactly the same as this, with the exception it does not have the secondary cut edge. So this one is the RPT Foreman. It does come with the lanyard wrap, and you got to choose your color. I just chose black. 3 16 7 inch, the same A2 stain, uh, stainless steel variant. Uh, the overall length on this one is a full five inches. So this is, for me, I can get a better purchase on this one. I can actually use it as a very good pry tool or scraping tool, which is what I was after. And, and really that's, again, that's what appealed to me most. So the difference with this one, obviously, is it's gonna have that secondary cut edge. Well, that secondary edge, let me tell you, that thing works phenomenally well as a box opener too. So this is something that's going to save my knife blades a lot. Uh, now I just have to figure out a way to carry it. Uh, I'm going to be exploring different uh, different sheath options. And I'm probably going to end up having to go with something like a Skinth or a Maxpedition or maybe one of the Leatherman variants uh, to house this and my Surge and, and, and uh, one, at least one bit sleeve plus the extension. So definitely going to have to look into something a little different, something a, a sheath that's a little bit larger. But this is exactly what I was looking for. When you, when you grab these things, you really feel that they have some serious heft to them. And uh, the stainless steel, I just can't ever see that A2 ever rusting on you, especially with normal use with these things. And you can always sharpen them right back up. This is gonna make a fantastic tool for me uh, to, to be able to have with me on the job site. This is where I will carry it as an EDC. Not something I'm going to carry every day. If I was going to do something like that, it'd probably be one of these three models. This is going to be more of a work EDC because I have uh, just all the time I need a scraping tool. It's just it's just a constant. Now this particular one does not come just has the lanyard loop. Does not come with the with the quarter inch uh, the quarter inch uh, driver mechanism. So this is Rogan USA. You can find them on Facebook at Rogan USA. You can find them on Instagram, instagram.com forward slash Rogan USA, or you can visit them on the web at RoganUSA.com. I encourage you to check them out because uh, while they don't do much, what they do, they do it well. And they do have a couple of other variants of these tools. They have another larger one that is, uh, it's like eight inches in overall length. So it's, it's a really great tool, but not as conducive to everyday carry. So this, again, these are from the EDC line with the exception of the one that I'm missing, uh, the RPT. My name is Ben. You've been watching the Texas Tool Crib and a little overview of the Rogan USA Pry Tools. Hope you check them out and I'll see you in the next one.